Students at the University of Houston are building more than just cars this year for the Shell Eco Marathon. We're going to have to have one vertical like this. For the first time, a team from UH is pairing up with high schoolers from A Leaf Independent School District. I mean, I, I did not expect this at all. You know, I thought we were going to come here once a month, uh, give a quick little uh, lesson or tour about engineering, you know, all of a sudden it just took off. Instead of just being mentors, Robert Guerra and his team from UH are true partners with the high school students, providing the blueprints and letting the high schoolers build the cars. To take it on the way they have, it's really exciting for me to, to witness that. It's what school ought to be like. And we gotta make decisions fast, so. Guerra and Team Red Octane from UH are one of only two teams entering the compressed natural gas division, while the students from ELSIC will compete with a gas to liquids engine. Well, you know, we wanted to increase the challenge by making two cars, uh, two different fuel systems. The two teams will travel to Detroit to compete in April. Just the journey of getting there is gonna be a, a, an accomplishment in itself. And then what happens there is just gonna be a bonus. And win or lose, Guerra hopes that what they build lasts longer than this competition. One of the things we wanna do before we leave is make sure that they have a legacy. You know, we wanna make sure that they have uh, this program continuously going, you know? So yeah, we're, we're trying to do all the training that we can. Yeah.